All right, guys, so here we go. We're gonna check out our poopsie slip on. Dang it! Hey, Beavats, I'm back, and today I'm here to congratulate you all because the internet has ruined you. Yes, it's true. For some sick reason, you guys are all obsessed with poop, and now that's a thing, so I have to touch it. Good job. MGA is back, and this time, they've upped their game. Place it? Thing. You know what I mean. Glitter. Slime. Poo. Unicorns? Need I say more? Today we're going to be checking out the Poopsie Slime Surprise. This retails for $14.99 plus tax in Canada. No clue what that is in the US. Boom. Then we also have the Pooey Pouton. This is the Poopsie Slime Surprise carrying case. This was $99 plus tax in Canada. And over here, I wasn't even showing you that. Fail! Here's the $100 case. Way to go, Jen. And over here, we have the Poopsie Surprise Unicorn. This is $80 plus tax in Canada. Why is she pointing out that it's in Canada? Well, because I am. And I know that it's gonna cost less elsewhere. All right, I'm a little hyper right now, okay? I love trying out new things. I made sure I didn't watch anybody else's videos because I literally just bought them all and I wanna know what's inside. I know there's gonna be unicorns and, you know, poop and stuff. Actually. Has anyone not questioned the fact that unicorns apparently poop out animals? Just saying. Like, unicorns poop out cute little bunny corns, and they poop out pineapples, and they poop out pandas because, you know, magic. All right, Jen, focus. Task at hand. All right, so this is our regular size Poopsie Slime Surprise. It comes with 10 magic surprises inside. Quick little view of the package. It looks like it's a roll of toilet paper covered in colorful things like a sun barfing rainbows. So yeah, we're going to make the slime, add the magic, and collect it and store it inside of a keychain, which is a surprise inside. Okay? Okay. It looks like the only thing we're going to need is water to make this work, so I've got the most Canadian bottle of water here ever, and I've got my roll of poop paper. <laughs> Let us find the thing. Oh, by the way, there's an allergy warning here. These slime type toys can cause allergic reactions on your skin, so be cautious. <gasps> That's cute. Can you guys see this? There's a cute little unicorn standing on an angry cloud. <laughs> That's cute. All right, we do something. We unlock it. Oh, wait, no, what? <laughs> Jen's cheating. I forgot to unravel. Mm. Round two, unroll here, focus. Our first piece of toilet paper has some unicorn food on it. I'm liking this background. That's kind of cool. And we can detach it here. Oh, there's more pictures. Here, I won't focus on what you're missing. Our second piece has unicorn magic. Third piece is the surprise scent. And we have our magic spoon. This is the fourth piece of toilet paper. Now Jen can go ahead and open the top. There we go. We got a thing, and another thing, and another thing, and this thing, and instructions. This is our checklist, and I am both excited and sad because there are so many punny jokes I can make about how much I love this, but I just know that the comments are gonna tell me off for saying it, but I'm gonna whisper it so it doesn't matter. But these are a whole bunch of super crappy jokes. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna ruin it for you, but they got great names. So we've got some early bird turds, junk foodie duties, we've got some turds of paradise down there, and some disco doo-doos. There's a whole whack load of scents that we could get, and uh, if you care, you can uh, buy one. So, moving on. This is our cup. Bottle, cup. It's actually a juice box. We're gonna open this up because I wanna see what it looks like. Ugh. Or not. Oh, there's a tab. Jenny, come on. Get your poop together. <laughs> Am I right? Uh, okay. <sighs> I need some strength. Got it. First try. That was not very exciting. There's nothing in there. It's literally just a storage space for us to shake our stuff. So this is our bottle, AKA juice box. It is a pink Juicy Poops 100% natural juice box with a blue straw, super cute. All right, next up we have silver unicorn. It looks more like a scoop shovel type thing, but it's a spoon. And this will help us scoop it out later. This is our measuring cup. It's a cup and it's yellow. Here is our scent. Let me sniff it. 
Jenna can't sniff it because she didn't open it. <laughs> there we go. Smells like a cream skull. So I'm gonna do the things with all of this. I've never actually made slime from a kit before. I'm just old fashioned and cheap and made it from like glue and stuff for like 10 cents, but you know. So we're gonna take this and this in our super Canadian water and put 15 mils of water in this container twice. One, two, <gasps> I lost a drop. Replacing the drop. We good. Now we're gonna pour in the unicorn food all of it, so if you planned on making this more than once, you can't. Add five cents of this special scent. What? <laughs> Add five drops of the special scent into our container. That's really hard. <laughs> now we just put the lid on, shake this up and down for about a minute, and we let it sit for 15 to 20. I hope you're patient. I used my most vigorous shaking abilities and I'm going to let that sit for 15 to 20 minutes. In the meantime, we will go on to our next poopy surprise. So this is our Pooey Pouton bag. It's like a Louis Vuitton bag, but crappier. <laughs> oh, I didn't shush that one. Crappier. It is super cute. It's got glittery painted eyelashes, which may or may not be showing properly on the camera, and lips. The bag is actually super adorable. So it's going to come with 35 magic surprises, which is questionable as to what stores consider surprises now, but hey, because I always consider some bottles as a surprise. I mean, I consider a surprise like ice cream that I get to eat, but whatever. So we already saw the front. Here's the back. It looks very much like the front, minus the eyes and lips. Public service announcement! Brrr. One thing I was going to be concerned about, I was actually really impressed to find that MGA did some due diligence with and concerned themselves with children buying their product who may have life-threatening allergies. So the four mystery scents that are shown here are not actually mystery scents as they have to list what is inside them over here. If you do have allergies, please be mindful of this card in the back. Good job, MGA. I am a fan of that. Less so with this following phrase, which is blurry on purpose so that I don't ruin the surprise for you guys, don't complain. It says, these scents are harmful to aquatic life with long lasting effects. Oh, that part, less cool. Give a little kissy poo. Okay, mm. this is really big, <laughs> but we are ready to open. So let us uh, stretch out our handles just a bit and find this little gibber right on top. The top of our poo is a little twisty that will open up the case, yes. I can't. Got it. There was more tape. Got it. And still there's more. How did I not thoroughly check this over? Don't judge me. Hashtag don't you judge me. Okay, for real. Got it. Yay! Okay, let's check it out. On this side of our bag, we have a unicorn sparkle and unicorn magic. Seven of our bottles, keychain, four mystery scents, our exclusive cup, the spoon, and our actual cup. On this side of the package, we have our instruction booklet, we have our unicorn crunch, we've got three airtight sealed containers which hold four different types of slime in each one because, you know, stuff. And then we have the remaining five of our bottles. We have our unicorn tears cup because you need unicorn tears to make unicorns poo. We're going to try out of this purple alien looking honey. So inside this handy dandy book, it gives us color charts, recipes like magical unicorn poo, the same thing in a different language, again and again and again, over and over and over and over. And then crunchy poo. I think I'm gonna go with metallic because why not? This is the metallic. If you want metallic, you use the bluish unicorn magic packet. This is the sparkle, that's Jen dropping stuff, this is the shimmer. First things first, we're going to dump our outer space honey. This is just the powder, just ignore me. We're gonna dump it into our cup. Excellent. We've got our powder and next we're gonna add two cups. Where's my Canadian water? One, two. This is how you make Canadian unicorn slime, guys. You need Canadian water, which is probably imported from somewhere else. Next up, we have to add the drops times five. This magical smell smells like smell. I don't like it. It smells like things stinky. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. I dropped a few extra. Now it's gonna be incredibly stinky. Awesome. Time to put the lid on and shake it up for a minute to two minutes, then let it sit for 15 to 20. And that means we can check out the one that's hiding over there again. This is called unicorn tears because it takes so much muscle that it hurts your arms and you start crying. 
Okay, it's been a minute. I'm gonna leave that here, and I'm excited because I've never actually made slime from a kit before, so <laughs> we're gonna see how that turns out. Now, let's clean this up and check out our old slime. Let's go ahead and struggle to open this one. This was a long time to wait. Make sure you've got something to do, like practice opening jars. Got it! Ew, ew. What? It smells like hand soap from a Wendy's restaurant. <laughs> okay, what else? Smell that. Smell a vision? It stinks, right? I told you. We're gonna use our spoon to scoop it out. Ew, it's not solid yet. Nope, Jen, nope. Jenny says no. What? This is what happens when you follow the directions. It's not slime, guys. It's snot. That's not okay with me. I refuse. Nope, maybe if I let it sit longer. That's not good because obviously there's nothing else in the package to help thicken it up more. Let's just open our keychain. Would you say that's a hamster? I don't know. It's a hamster poo. It's purple. It's got the same eyelashes like the poo bag, and it's got a little golden horn. Down here is what we would open to put our slime in, but since we have some orange snot that smells like garbage, I'm just going to uh, skip that. We'll leave all that up there where it can stay crappy on its own. So I was pretty excited. Right now I'm going with a wah wah wah. Since that took about 20 seconds, that's clearly not set up yet. So we'll move on to our giant poopsie over here. So as is the case with every and all unicorns that are totally real, not, we get to make real unicorn poo. Cause that makes sense. <laughs> we have this mythical creature that is not real, but we get to make real poo from it. So that's exciting. So this is the back of the package. We are not gonna spend too much time on it because I talk really fast and it annoys everybody, but that is a-okay because you don't want a super long video and I can just keep going and going and going and going. We're gonna feed our unicorn. It's gonna poop some magical slime, but we have to add the magic because, you know, not magic enough on their own. So we have the opportunity to get Dazzling Darling, Rainbow Bright Star, Oopsie Starlight, and Whoopsie Doodle. And I'm hoping for, whoa, oh my, to get Oopsie Starlight or Whoopsie Doodle. Let's just do some crossing of our everything. Okay, we're gonna find out if it's worth the money or hey if this one even works at all Here's our first one is the unicorn shimmer second is the unicorn food Oh, the third one came out. It's right there. I was gonna say this is our keychain. This is our diaper Here is our bottle our brush the unicorn magic a shirt and that is all yay so much like the first toilet paper roll, which you weren't able to see, so I'm not even gonna bother trying to show you this time, this container is actually pretty cool and it's covered in a lot of different details. Super cute and adorable. Uh, although also really weird to store things with holes all over it, but cool, whatevs. You guys better be doing something over there. I'm gonna be really annoyed if I spent all this money and none of these things work. I mean, that's good for you guys to figure it out, but I'm following the directions to the letter. So far, if this doesn't work, we're already out $16 after tax, okay? And if this one doesn't work, whew, that's a hundred and something. Just saying. Time to open our shimmery bags. Oh, snap, I done mixed them all together. I don't know what's what. Let's start with this one, it's clearly a cup. Here is our cup. It's kind of squishy and it says Poopsie on it because it's ordered by Poopsie, get it? So it's like a little Starbucks type themed cup with a vomiting cloud. That's adorable. Inside is the inside. That's about it. Here is our shirt. Let's see? Who be that? I can't remember who that was. What? What? Where's the packaging? Oh, it's not who I wanted! Arr. Guys, you're allowed to be upset when the surprise is not what you wanted, just so you know. It's okay to be disappointed. Unicorn food! Our brush. Oh, that's the cutest thing ever. I think I'm gonna use this on myself. It's a cloud of corn. <laughs> Super love that, actually. I'm not gonna lie. And it's kind of shimmery and pearly. I love it. This is probably our diaper. It is our diaper! Can you see that? It's got a little bow and ruffles. And two gold pins at the front. Four packages of shimmer. And unicorn magic and unicorn sparkle. We only get one sparkle. And here's our keychain. It's a rainbow doo-doo. This is where we will put, hopefully, our slime if it actually turns into poo. And speaking of poo, let's check on those. We have some hopes for you. It's getting there. If I touched it. No, I smell like crud. The irony. Uh, right there, right there. Jen's not even propering today. I'm not propering. Let's do this. Wait, how do we do this? Right side? Nope. Do you do that? Ah! Oh, that startled me. <gasps> She's beautiful! The shirt is for Rainbow Bright Star. That little diaper there is for Dazzling Darling. The actual cup that we got and the body and the hair of our doll, unicorn, my bad, 
is Oopsie Starlight. So did I get Oopsie Starlight? Because <laughs> if I did, I'm happy. But why do we have Rainbow Bright Star shirt? Okay, let's open her up. <gasps> She's so cute. Fail. Huzzah! Her eyes are so pretty. Her hair is gorgeous. Looks like they may have put a lot more effort in than they did with the LOLs. Just saying. And this one costs less. Do you feel me right now? I'm looking at all these instructions. They are very overwhelming. Okay, I wanna show you her full body before we dress her. However, uh, she does not stand on her own upright because she's very heavy, and she also cannot sit upright. So I'm just gonna hold her, and you're gonna have to deal with it. So her hair is beautiful. All these pastel colors, they make it so pretty, and it is styled off to the side. And that's why they gave us a brush. Makes sense, right? If you get hair, you need a brush. If you don't know what I'm talking about, check out my bigger surprise LOL video, just saying. So she's a pale pink and beautiful like pearly white color all over. She's got painted eyelashes, also some real ones. She's also got shimmery glittery eyeshadow, the best kind of glitter, the kind that does not come off. She's got this cute little muzzle and her mouth is open, ready to be fed so that she can poop away everything with her super fast metabolism. And she's covered in tats because she is cool like that. So we've got a, a rainbow unicorn narwhal. It's already the unicorn of the sea. Angry lightning clouds, happy money, happy flowers, and happy burger. Over here, we've got more cute stuff. Can you see this? We've got unicorns, ice cream, happy cat mermaid, pizza, clouds, and rainbows, and all that great stuff. Here's her feet, so cute, with silver horseshoes on the bottom and hearts. And uh, where she pees is a heart because magical unicorn, yes. We're gonna dress our unicorn. Trey cute. Now let's give her the wrong shirt. Not as cute as it could have been, just saying. I really wish she came with a stand so that she didn't do this. Or this. Or that. Let's try to sit her down on her potty instead. Yes. <laughs> let's, let's just lean her against the wall. Good enough. Sweet. She is standing and she is ready. Let us make slime and then we'll check to see if the other ones did anything useful. Okay, to make slime this time, it's gonna be even harder. Yay, glitter! Super healthy glittery dinner. Before you begin feeding your unicorn, make sure it's over on that side for feeding, okay? Feed her. Are you hungry, little unicorn? Uh, ah. I'm just gonna do this forever. Be back soon. Ah. Give me it back. Give me it. Got it. For the sake of my sanity, I tipped her and force fed her really quickly. <laughs> Moving on. Next up, we take our cup, our unicorn food, which I just poured all over the place, so hopefully it's enough. Put the lid on. Now remember, she can actually drink by tipping this cup into her mouth out of this straw, so hold the top when you shake for your minute to two minutes. Okay, I shook this for about one minute. All right, oopsie, I hope you're thirsty. Feed her. Chug, chug, chug. Ew. <laughs> now we have to turn her around. What the crap is happening? Ew. What is happening right now? Oh no, that looks really gross. Okay, let's ignore that. While it's all leaking out, I turn to the back to the rocking part. You're supposed to rock her back and forth forever, by the way, for like uh, 15 whole seconds. And then remove her diaper and put her on the toilet. Once I remove her diaper, it's all just gonna pour out. So, ugh. let me get the toilet ready and rock her. Yep, it's all coming out. Totally wonderful. Good stuff. I'm pretty sure it's because her diaper was pushing down her belly button. Like, it's legit pouring out of her right now. I'm really bummed because that's a big mess. So I wasn't gonna check out any of this till after. This is where the magic happens. All of this is supposed to be inside of this container and shaking up in there. But clearly you can see that it's all just literally pouring out of my unicorn. So this is clearly not gonna be anything resembling slime or poop. It just looks like really, really disgusting pee. I'm actually super annoyed. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up. Okay, I took her apart and I took out the stuff. I'm gonna see if I could try to put the slime back in there, give her a fair shot 
Okay, I'm back with a little less enthusiasm, a little more frustration. I've managed to salvage this much after spending about 10 minutes getting it off the table very slowly because it has poured onto my floor and stained my carpet. We're gonna attempt to put this back into our unicorn. So I'm gonna do that by myself and hope for the best and probably try not to throw my unicorn through a wall. Guys, my unicorn's butt won't go back on. There, I did it. There, let's pretend nothing was ever wrong and continue on with this honest, truthful review. So our unicorn has been fed, we have switched it into rock me mode, make sure that is closed, and make sure your unicorn's belly button is in fact sticking out. Okay, you're good to go. Now we're going to rock her for 15 seconds. Rock by uni, please go to sleep, try not to poop all over my table, or pee because that was terrifying. All right, now that your unicorn's belly is all shaken up and she should be vomiting everywhere because you don't shake after you eat food, that's just crazy. We're going to sit her on this potty that she doesn't sit on very well. Let her pee it all out by pushing that belly button, which we definitely know how to do thanks to that diaper. Once she pees it all out, you let her sit for 15 to 20 minutes. So let's put her out of the way and check our others. Fingers crossed this one works now because I really don't want to hate everything about this review. There's three different products here. One is bound to work. So let's go ahead and open up that first one again. Here's our juicy little poop. Ow. Oh, that's so much better now. Oh, thank goodness. I was so bummed out. Let's use our spoon to scoop it all out. So it takes way more than 15 minutes because I actually made this one about 45 minutes ago, guys. I'm not kidding. It feels so gross. I'm not a texture person. I apologize. Barf. It is super stretchy, though. This is orange. What smell does it have? It no longer smells like oranges. It smells like really gross soap. So... I just spilled some of the unicorn magic everywhere. We're gonna add the magic and then I'm gonna practice my stretching. Okay, apparently I don't squish squishies and stretch things the way you guys would like. So let's add all this magic because the unicorn cannot add its own magic. And just work that in. Eh, ew. Okay, so it's super slimy and it's not really mixing in very well. Most of the shimmer is actually stuck on me. Can you see that? It's really pretty, pearly, and like iridescent. So if you wanna be a unicorn for Halloween, or just in general, make sure you just make some slime first. I can't get it off me. I really hope this doesn't stain my hands. I know I'm not doing this the way you'd like to see it. I'm just trying to get it into a form. Stretch. This is Cassandra from Doctor Who. <laughs> I've had enough of that. I'm glad it actually ended up working though so that I could be less angry with it. And I'm sorry if you're angry that I don't stretch properly. Just deal with it. So now we can open up our hamster poop, at least that's what I think it is, and stick it inside. <laughs> Ew, our hamster's pooping. I can't get it in. Ew. <laughs> it's just farting out. Oh my gosh. It's disgusting. Guys, it doesn't fit inside. I'm trying so hard. There's too much. Yeah. Guess it's a good thing we've got these airtight storage containers from our poopy pouton bag. I'm just gonna stick it in there, okay? Okay, let's just, there you go, yay! But at least it ended up working. Hooray, let me, you know what? I'm not even gonna bother washing my hands because it's probably gonna happen again because we have to check out the poopy pouton one. Ooh, at least it's solidified. Okay, where's our spoon? Scoop it all. Get it out. Yeah. Ew, it's super slimy. Ew, ew. Ugh. Ew. Ooh, it's making it metallic. I like this slime so much better than the first orange batch that we did. It mixed a lot better, probably because it was still more wet before I started working it in with my hands. It's pretty cool, actually. I'm gonna see if this fits inside of the keychain that we got. Okay, I lied. My little keychain is inside my Pooey Pouton bag, and I don't wanna get it covered in shimmer, so instead I'm just gonna cheat and stick it right in there. Because <laughs> it's probably not gonna fit anyways. Wait, let's make it fart. Ew! <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Farts are funny. I would definitely buy any of these before I would buy another LOL Bigger surprise case. The small slime surprise, while it took forever and didn't really fit inside of my little keychain, 
actually turned out after a lot more time than the instructions gave. I'll give it a thumbs up. The Pui Puton case. That one's not too bad of a purchase. Maybe a little less than the $100 that I paid. Realistically, once you've made those few things, you're left with a case and a bunch of empty bottles. As for this she devil, she is super cute and adorable, would make a great unicorn toy. I don't think she hits the mark as a slime producing pooping unicorn. I'm still waiting for my poop to cure off in the corner, but it was overall just madness and it looked like something other than poop. So that part is a thumbs down. The doll itself is a thumbs up. For the slime portion, I'm gonna say no. For the price and the actual toy and the idea, I'll give that a yes. Slime portion for this guy, good. Price point, bad. Also, the little one, the slime was okay. The price point could be a buck or two less. Overall, not super unimpressed, but not thoroughly impressed. If you're just gonna make some slime, realistically, you could do the exact same thing with the smaller sets and get yourself a regular doll. Besides, it's gonna be a nightmare to try to clean that out if you don't do it fast enough, which I should be doing right now. Also, this time around, for those of you viewers who cared to know, there was much less waste and a lot more recyclable items, which I am a big fan of. Update. The potty poop is slowly forming. Maybe in about three more hours it'll be solid enough to touch. But right now, barf. If you know somebody who loves slime, poopsie slime surprise, or my videos in general, please share this with them. And if you enjoyed this video yourself, please make sure you remember to comment, like, and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments below, did you manage to make your unicorn stand up if you got this? Because right now she's squatting on a potty and that's the only thing that works. <laughs> Make sure you comment all the time because every comment you leave gets you a chance to win an awesome prize from me. Thanks so much for watching this honest review of Poopsie Slime Surprise. We'll see you in our next video.